Yeah, generally, uh, someone calls our office here in Buffalo and they're asking about restraining orders. And generally what happens, in order to get to that point, uh, there's been some incidents of domestic violence. So in other words, um, some sort of criminal activity has occurred either inside or outside the home, or one person has gone down to the family court and made a complaint and filed a petition for a family offense that the other person has done something against them, which is a violation of the law, such as harassment or assault or stalking or something like that. What generally happens is once a complaint has been issued, uh, the court will issue what's called a temporary restraining order. So it's this restraining order that is on a temporary basis and it is either stay away from that person or don't commit any more offensive acts. So now you no longer simply have the complaint of the person who is saying that my spouse or my boyfriend or my girlfriend is committing some sort of activity against me, but now you have a court order. Now you have a court order from a judge saying you can't do that. So a violation of that would no longer simply be that you are committing an offense against um, the boyfriend or the girlfriend or the husband or the wife, uh, but now if you violated that, you're actually violating an order of the court which has very, very serious consequences and implications. So uh, if you are faced with uh, a restraining order, uh, you surely want to be advised of what you can do and what you can't do because there are very serious consequences for violating a restraining order that's been issued by a judge.